Welcome, Sam. Thanks for stopping by. Um, opening weekend this past weekend at home. Uh, Friday night, packed house against Northern Michigan. Talk about that match. Um, that was awesome. We were not expecting that many people to be there. It was it was packed, and it's so much fun to play in front of that many people. Um, we did end up losing in five, but just the atmosphere that all of our fans provided made it a fun game, even though it didn't end up in our favor. And then you girls rebounded Saturday uh, with a nice victory over Michigan Tech, four sets. Talk about that one. Yeah, that one we really, you know, we were still a little bit tired from the match on Friday that went long, but we just kind of buckled down and focused on the basic things that we could do. And we knew a couple of things that Michigan Tech did, so we just focused on those. And I think that's really what ended up helping us pull out the match. How tough was it to come back, like you said, kind of early, you know, 2 o'clock start on a Saturday after a long match and an emotional match at that. Uh, how tough was it to come back and, and be, like, m mentally prepared? You know, it's always really hard, especially after an emotional loss like Friday night was. But you just kind of have to buckle down and say to yourself, this is a different team, different match, and especially Michigan Tech, who didn't win a match GLIAC-wise last year. They're, they're just looking to steal one from anybody, so... Teams like that, you can't give them any, any little break. What are some of the things you girls are working on in practice this week in preparation for next week's contest? Um, a lot of the things that we are focusing on right now is just our side of the net, things that we can do better. A big one is our consistency, trying to do things. For example, we have to get so many good in a row and just working on winning the long rallies. Because if you can win the long rallies, usually you can pull out a win in the end. This weekend, Friday at Wayne State, Saturday at Finley. Um, talk about the challenges uh, being on the road, first time in the GLIAC this year. Um, I think with our team being so young, it'll be especially challenging because we've got some girls who don't really know how to play off of a bus. And, you know, Wayne State is, they usually draw a pretty good crowd, of, especially of younger people. So that'll make it a little bit tougher for us. And then Finley just has a weird gym to play volleyball in, and so that in itself is kind of a unique challenge to play down there. Sam Briot, thanks for stopping by, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. Coach Stanton, welcome back. Uh, this past weekend, you guys opened the GLIAC season at home. It was a really exciting environment, starting on Friday against Northern Michigan. Uh, very riveting suspenseful match tell us about the on friday the match on friday yeah friday's night uh, friday night's match uh in the cardinal gym was just amazing great way to open the season really what you hope for for your your home matches especially a home opener uh had a great crowd a standing room only for pretty much from warm-ups on to the end of the match and uh we started out a little boring didn't quite give them uh give the crowd the match we we're looking for in the first game anyway once we got uh, got our energy going, uh, and then they gave us a lot of energy back, it, it just turned into a, a great match. Didn't quite end the way we wanted, uh, but it was great to have that kind of support, that kind of fan base. Uh, that's what we look for every night. And then you followed it up on on Saturday. The girls bounced back, uh, four set victory over Michigan Tech. Yeah, a little bit thinner crowd come Saturday uh, for that match. Um, but we, we managed to rebound back from a tough loss, tough five-game loss Friday night, and went in four uh, against Tech and, and played them fairly well. Uh, they're a much improved team, and they're just going to keep getting better. So we're, we're happy to be able to rebound from the Friday night and, and play, play a better match. I think uh, we are learning every time we hit the floor, and Thursday kind of showed a little bit of that, that I think we are, we're getting to be a tougher team, and uh, Saturday helped. Yeah, what what did you see from your from your girls this weekend? Um, you know, moving forward to to next weekend when you guys start on the road in in conference play. Well, when you're a young team like we are, I think being at home can help, uh, and sometimes it can hurt. So we're still trying to feel our way around that. Whether being on the road is better or worse, uh, we played so up and down through the preseason. It's hard to tell how we're going to do on the road. Um, so we'll, we'll find that out next weekend. Uh, I think just getting on the floor again, uh, 
getting another opportunity to play and to learn about ourselves, whether it's home or away. For us right now, it's just about playing, just getting out there and testing ourselves from this past weekend. It's several tight games. Uh, one determined a match, and the other one just determined uh, on Saturday that we were going to go an extra game, and we managed to close it out in, in the fourth game. But just getting in those battles is really what we need to do to just keep getting stronger, uh, get more, more mature on the floor. So whether well, it's home or away at this point, we just have to kind of go out and play. Right. You, 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 you've said on multiple times now that you guys just need to play. Um, is there is there something that you guys are doing in practice that can that can help that? Well, yeah, I, we're uh, working hard every day in practice, uh, and we're getting better in that environment. But it's not the same as game time, especially in the GLIAC. Every team has got something that they are very good at, uh, so they're they're going to challenge you one way or another. And you can you can practice hard against yourself every day, but it's not the same as. Uh, as when you're keeping score, uh, when things really matter, and our, our practice environment is pretty intense, so we're we're getting stronger and better. But then you got to go out and test yourself against somebody else, and uh, that's you just can't duplicate duplicate that in practice. Friday at Wayne State, Saturday at Finley. Talk about those two opponents. Well, a couple of uh, strong opponents, uh, Southern Conference or Southern Division of the conference. Uh, Finley ran over us last year in a, in a season that we were pretty strong and pretty consistent. They just took it to us. Uh, so that's going to be interesting to see how we match up. They've started pretty strong. Wayne State has started pretty strong as well. Uh, they have a lot of returners, a lot of strong talent. Um, both matches are going to be pretty tough. And, and like I said, we don't really know how good we are on the road yet. Um, so it's, uh, it's going to be a challenge. They both have some different strengths that we're going to have to try to prepare for throughout the week and just take it one match at a time. Coach, good luck this weekend and bring back some victories. Thanks, Chris.